Were these the horns that were tooting yesterday? They're going, toot, toot, toot. Yeah, yeah they're real loud. Are they uh, sounding any better? Are they still tooting? No, they're sounding better after wiring correctly. They had to fine tune it. We thought the, the Roadrunner had diarrhea or something in here. I, I don't know why I said that, diarrhea. I just said diarrhea in the video. Say. Is that funny? Diarrhea. Yeah, yeah, cha -cha -cha. All right, here's so details. On, <laughs> here's, here's details on a, on a 65 convertible. He was running anyway. Yeah, but it was all, if the, if the Roadrunner had diarrhea, that's what it would sound like. That's right. But it doesn't sound like that anymore. Don't worry. No, that's not almost like a donkey. Sorry, Thomas, for this intro. Here's your car. We're hooking up the horns here on the front the way they should be according to the way the horn is designed. So I have taken here, this one here, I have connected two leads. One is a power lead. The other lead goes from this right over to here. And I have soldered and shrink wrapped it right there so it plugs onto this end of the horn. So we have 12 and a half volts going to there and we also will have 12 and a half volts going to this lead which will plug onto this horn. And then after we're done there, we'll run one lead from the other terminal on each horn, ground it, and it will be done. And you'll have horns. That sounds kind of funny that way, but you know. So here we're going to go ahead and we're going to shrink wrap this. Even though these are completely insulated type uh, terminal connectors, I like to shrink wrap around here so it's completely covered and protected just like that. These even have the built-in silicone inside so when you heat it up it oozes out and it seals both ends. That's the best kind of shrink wrap that you can get. This way there's no water or anything that will get in, penetrate in, in there and get to the uh, wires. Alright, so now Andy hooks that up. And that'll be plugged in. <laughs> okay. And then we'll go ahead and we'll ground this terminal wire, this terminal here to a ground, which is sufficient right to these bolts or any other suitable ground you so desire to use. But since we're just right here, we'll run a wire from here to here and from here to here, immediate ground, and we're good to go. Okay. 